Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Thursday afternoon. Um, I know I am. Uh, I'm standing here where it's a uh, good and warm. Uh, well, it's not too warm because I don't have my uh, heat on, so I, I shouldn't say it's warm. And well, I mean it's not freezing cold, but I just got a little hot. Um, while I was making lunch, so I shut the heat off for a while to, you know, let it cool out in here. Because uh, with it being uh, freezing cold outside, uh, it just runs and runs and runs and runs. I guess it's what happens in the winter time. So I hope everybody that uh, watches my vlogs, hopefully you're staying uh, safe and warm and not out um, in this mess. Um, I went I went out Monday or Tuesday of this week I think it was Monday and got some uh, coffee creamer and uh, a half gallon of milk and a loaf of bread because uh, um, last night I made um, uh, ham and beans and uh, cornbread for supper so I had everything but the, but the milk so I had to go to Walmart and uh, get that and I had to get um, some coffee creamer because I hadn't I'd run out of that so the, the creamer that um, I used use they are uh, out of it but two so I grabbed the last two of the Starbucks uh, caramel macchiato creamer that I use so I got the last two and um, yeah so I've been sitting in here watching it uh, uh, it looks like maybe freezing rain mixed a little bit of snow in there. It's uh, piling up. Uh, been um, um, watching uh, Facebook and seeing if there's uh, anybody doing any uh, Facebook lives or anything, you know, that's out doing this. Some of the people that I follow, they haven't uh, put any new updates on uh, the the news channel that um, I follow out of Louisville, Kentucky, they um, haven't done anything. I watched the uh, news at noon, and one of their reporters was in uh, Corden around noon, and she's giving an update over there. Then uh, I think uh, WDRB uh, out of uh, Louisville, Kentucky, they were in Indiana. Uh, earlier in the day, they were, um, I guess they come up um, 64 out of um, Harrison County and come up, come all the way up at 145 uh, up to 50. And they were heading to um, Seymour, Indiana, uh, you know, just seeing what the roads were like. And uh, I was um, talking, I was doing a FaceTime with my uh, BFF and uh, she is showing me uh, them guys. I couldn't, I couldn't find out where they were at or I would have, you know, continue to watch, but I couldn't find them, but that's all right. Um, I've been uh, watching um, uh, state police, uh, Sergeant Kerry Halls out of uh, Sellersburg and uh, I just watched his, uh, Facebook live uh, post a little while ago and uh, he was in uh, Salem driving around checking out the roads and everything um, and I think he went back and I think he done one where he's you know heading back to uh, the Sellersburg area and at that time uh, couldn't see you can still see green grass uh, there wasn't you know hardly anything you know you could tell it was raining and all of that uh, like I said, that looks like that's what I was doing here. My um, the guy lives across the road uh, from where I live. At he's looks like he's been out. And he's got his car started up, so he must be getting ready to go into work. Um, he had his uh, yellow vest on, so I guess he works. I, know, I guess he works for the county or something. And I guess they're um, you know changing shifts and all of that. Looks like the snowplow had been the town snowplow been through here but 
to me, I think it's kind of wasting her uh, time doing that, you know, wait till this stuff, uh, you know, stops. Uh, then get out and do it, but, you know, I mean, all you're doing is scraping the snow off the ice, unless you got, you know, something to put down, and, you know, that'll make the ice melt, so I don't know. Um, I'm sure it'll put down um, sand and all of that. But there ain't, no, ain't nobody been in the parking lot. Ain't nobody scraped um, the parking lot here at the apartment building where I live at. They ain't been through here to scrape it. Uh, one of my, couple of my neighbors been out and about today, but um, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. I have nowhere to go, no desire to get out. So I'm just going to stay, stay inside, you know, and watch TV. And now I decided to... Uh, throw up a uh, vlog and let y'all know that uh, I'm watching it snow and all of that and not doing a whole lot so there's not a whole lot to do um yeah my uh, my vehicle is a four-wheel drive but it it's not going to do you no good on um ice and all of that so there's no mean no need for me to get out and you know, lock it in, because um, before I sit down here and do that, I'm just sitting on a solid sheet of ice, so there's um, uh, no need to get out, uh, even if I do have four-wheel drive. I'm not, I mean, like I said, it don't, it won't do you, no, four-wheel drive won't do you no good on uh, ice, and I'll just make the tire spin um, even more, and all of that, and I'm not going to get out there, you know, even though I am, you know, insured, I don't know about the next person, you know, somebody could come across to, you know, center line and hit me head on, and they probably ain't um, insured, and I don't want to tear my vehicle up and <clears throat> all that nonsense, because you just never know, you just never know, um, you know, when you get out there, who's insured and who's not and all that. And don't, I don't, like I said, I don't want to take a chance and um, somebody hitting me. And of course, my, my insurance would take care of my part, but um, still, I don't want to, I don't want to get out there and get, uh, get in a wreck. It's, um, avoidable by leaving the vehicle um, set where it's at uh, so, well, he just left in his little black car and um, we got the, the front passenger tire was uh, slipping a little bit so I don't know I'm not sure if that car is a front wheel drive or not it must be because he's going how far I don't know um, I mean it's to me, it's not worth to be out there uh, in all of this mess. Uh, yeah, like I said, I have nowhere to go. I have no desires. And if you're like me, you're probably sitting, you know, inside and just waiting. Uh, from what I've seen, this you know, it's supposed to be over by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, how long it's going to take this crap to melt, I have no idea. It'll probably take it a a little bit for this ice to melt. If it gets warm, you know, by the weekend, you know, it should uh, be gone and all of that. And I was watching a squirrel run uh, across the ground over there and jump up in their tree. Uh, I was looking out the back window or the back door earlier and I seen a, I guess it's a pigeon or something is over to, on the, neighbor's porch and uh, I made a comment to my BFF I think they must have all forgot to fly south for the winter because uh, that's the only one I seen I ain't seen you know I ain't seen no regular birds usually but uh, seen, I've seen a lot of them the last few days but since this stuff started you know yesterday afternoon and up into today uh, I haven't seen no birds um, I don't even I don't even feed them like I used to. I used to, uh, you know, and I had, 
a couple pieces of uh, bread loaf. I usually throw it out there on the ground for them. But the last time I did, um, they um, they weren't eating it, so uh, I just stopped feeding them. Uh, it, they were getting the bread was getting soggy and all that, and when they mowed, they were the lawn people were running over the bread and all of that. So, yeah, I just decided, you know, not to feed them anymore. Uh, I thought about getting a bird feeder and putting it out, but I don't know. I don't know what kind of birds are around here. You know, what what I, I'd like to see some finches, but I don't know. I don't know if there's any finches around here or not. Um, and I don't know where I would put it where I can see it. Um, yeah, it's that'd be a lot of a lot of work to do because you have to keep it filled and all of that and keep the squirrels out of it and all that and then I'd have all kinds of critters on my deck at night trying to get to the bird feeder so yeah I'm gonna nix that idea pretty quickly because it's I don't want need all kinds of critters running around on my porch you know not that they bother me but just don't need it so yeah it's a uh, it's bad out there. I don't. Hopefully it'll. Hopefully it ends soon. I'm, uh, we're two days into, well, a day and a half into it. And I'm already tired of looking at it. Um, I'm ready for it to start warming up and get into spring. Uh, so, but I think the, the, I think the groundhog seen his shadow yesterday. So there's. Um, six more weeks of bad weather uh, according to him so i don't know hopefully hopefully not but it's just whatever mother nature wants to do you know whatever will be will be i'm going to sit inside and watch it i'm going to watch it from my bedroom window and occasionally step outside i mean not outdoors out of my door and to the back, you know, the back door, or step up on the porch. I went on the porch last night, and um, it was uh, pretty cold. I could feel the, not the big one, the one around here. I could feel the cold air coming around the, the bottom of the door, and I could, and I opened it, and I felt the uh, uh, ice hit me on top of the head. So I shut that door pretty quickly, and. Uh, got back in here of course it didn't do no damage thank goodness but uh yeah it wasn't I, the door wasn't open long enough for it to do anything but i heard it looks like it's starting to form a little bit on the uh, trees i got some on the uh, front of my jeep and things um i don't yeah it looks like there's some frozen water on the gutters but none of them's turned to icicles yet i don't see nothing hanging from the the power lines like they said it's going to but uh, i don't see much on the tree it's not like um i think it was either two, 2009 2010 when he had that um, big ice storm and things when i was living in ohio um, and knocked out the power and we're, um, we were out power for um, a few days until they got that back on. Um, so yeah, it made it made a rough. Uh, no no power, no heat, no nothing. But don't think I have to worry about that today. Uh, not here. I think I think time it's all done. I think it's supposed to get like. Um, 30 to 6 inches but I can still see see some green grass so if it's going to do you know if it's going to do that it'll you know it'll start snowing more so I, don't, I think tonight it's supposed to you know switch over from you know the sleet and stuff to all snow so it may it may do it here directly I don't know we'll see um, if it does then um, I'll I'll do a uh, another vlog tomorrow. 
I'll let you all know what it's doing. Uh, tomorrow being Friday, so I may uh, I may do another one uh, tomorrow just to give you an update of what's uh, going on, you know, around here. Uh, I'm sure y'all live in Indiana, Illinois, and, you know, points off to the north and, um, you know, northwest and southwest of here. I'm sure you're getting uh, the same thing I'm getting here in southern Indiana. So, um, not a whole lot today. Uh, like I said, it's just one of them days that I was bored and didn't have anything else to do. So, thought I'd give you all a, a little winter update and things like that. And if it gets uh, any worse between now and morning, I'll... Uh, I'll do another vlog. Until then, you all have a fantastic Thursday, and I will probably see you all tomorrow for another winter storm vlog. Until then, bye.